All right, so we got all the finger picking stuff down. Now it's time to learn some chords and some chord progressions that make up the second half of this tune. Now, if you haven't seen the first part of this lesson, there's gonna be a link in the description. And in that video, I show you all the different finger picking patterns that we use in the first half of this song. Awesome, now we gotta learn some chords. A minor is up first. Here's how you make A minor. Your first finger is on fret one of the B string, your second finger is on fret two of the D string, and your third finger is on fret two of the G string. Strum the A to high E strings. After A minor, we have C. C major goes like this. Your first finger is on fret one of the B string, your second finger is on fret two of the D string, and your third finger is on fret three of the A string. Strum the A to high E strings. After C, we need an F chord. F goes like this. Your first finger is on fret one of the B string. Your second finger is on fret two of the G string. Your third finger is on fret three of the D string and your fourth finger is on fret three of the A string. Just strum the middle four strings. Awesome. After F, we have an G slash B chord. G slash B is super simple. Your second finger is on fret two of the A string and you just strum the middle four strings, the A, D, G, and B strings. Awesome. A minor, C, F, and G slash B are the only chords we need for the second half of this tune. Now, let's learn the first chord progression, which is gonna be verse two. So, here's how it goes. It's A minor to C, F to C, and then G slash B. One, two, three, and four. 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 Just like that. Let's learn that strum pattern too. We're gonna go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, just like that. Now you're gonna play that chord progression four times around before moving on to the pre-chorus. So let's play that and you guys can play along too. Awesome. On to the next chord progression. This is the pre-chorus. We're going to go A minor, C, F. A minor, C, F. And then we're into the second chorus. So what we're doing right there is we're kind of squishing like we did in the first pre-chorus, the first measure. We're going to turn it into a measure of 2-4 instead of being a measure of 4-4. Four, four. So honestly, I like to think of it as a big chunk of 6-4. So we have six beats for each thing. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? You heard the first time everything is on the down beats, and the second time it's syncopated. So the first one goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna go one E and a two E and. A minor is on one, C is on the uh of one, the last sixteenth note on the beat, and then the F is gonna be on the and of two. One E and a two E and. One E and a two E and. Okay, let's play it one last time. Here's the pre chorus. One, two, three, four, five, six. One E and a two E and three, four, 
five, six. Just like that. So that was the pre-chorus. After that, we move on to the second chorus. The second chorus is totally different than the first chorus. And again, that's why I like this tune. It's very interesting. There's a lot of different parts to it. It makes it tough to teach, but it's really cool when you have all the parts together and you play it because it sounds like uh, a very dynamic piece of music. Here's how the second chorus goes. We're gonna go. So it's C going to G slash B, A minor going to F. Let's count it out. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now the first chord is on beat one, and the second chord is on the end of beat two. So we're gonna go one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Let's learn that strum pattern. Down, up, 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 Play that four times. And then after that, that was the chorus, we're gonna have a tiny little bit that just rolls along before the bridge. And here's how that goes. It's very similar to the second part of the pre-chorus. A minor, C, F. A minor C F A minor C F one E and a two E and right so we're gonna be doing that four times that little bit gets us into the bridge so now the bridge is gonna be similar to our first chorus we're gonna be playing these chords like that same shapes from the first chorus, just plucked all at the same time instead of finger picked through. The first two times we do like I did, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. And the third and the fourth times we're gonna pick it like we did during the first chorus. That was the bridge. After the bridge, we're on to our last chorus, and the last chorus is very similar to the second chorus, except the strum pattern's a tiny bit different. There it is. It's weird because all you're doing is taking the second chord in each measure and moving it over one sixteenth note. So the first chord is on beat one and the second chord is on the uh of beat two, two E and uh. So one, two E, excuse me, one, two E and uh. 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 And on a C chord. So that last chord progression, our last chorus is going to be four times around and then we're going to just end with a nice pretty C major chord. And that's going to be it. That's the second half of the tune. There's a lot of stuff in it and I'm going to play all of it for you now so that you can hear how the second half goes.
that's how the whole second half goes. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, you can hit that like button or share it with your friends. My name is Sean. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time with another guitar lesson.